Hello Hi. everyone, and welcome to another Elden Ring tutorial. My name is Xenos, and today I'm going to show you a new save editing tool for Elden Ring. Uh, this tool is designed for modifying saves from PlayStation or, or PC, and allows for transferring saves between the two. Uh, this tutorial is primarily aimed at people who have just recently purchased the PlayStation version of Elden Ring after playing the PC version for a long time. With this tool, they can transfer their save from PC to PlayStation, enabling them to bypass the need to recreate any of their characters. What you'll need is the latest release of a program from GitHub, linked in the description, as well as Save Wizard. You'll also need the PlayStation 4 version of Elden Ring. For those who use Save Wizard, you know it's necessary for copying the save to your USB drive and for making modifications with Save Wizard. Today I have a, a character set up on PC that has only caves and catacombs unlocked for invasions. I aim to transfer everything from this character slot. I've already created a save from uh, my PlayStation and um, now I'm going to proceed to transferring everything over to a USB drive. I've now switched to my PC with the save on our USB drive. You'll want to open up Save Wizard for that particular save file and export the information. We're going to name it from ps.txt and that will allow Save Wizard and the, the editing tool to both recognize moved over to the save editor, which will enable us to copy one save slot to another. It offers additional functionality, so I'll demonstrate a bit of that too. First, let's open up the save. From PS. Okay, you can see here's the name of the character. I named it from PS and now I have a save set up here for indoors only, caves and catacombs, and all of the characters' saves there are named Vagabond. That, and it'll replace the name, uh, but I actually want to change the name just to make it a little bit easier for me to tell that there was an update. I'm going to name it from PC. And go ahead and save the file. Time, we're going to name it from p.txt and so both programs can apply it correctly. Let's save. Go ahead and click this. Here I've opened up Save Wizard again and we're going to replace it with the one we just edited. Import file from p. Y, C, okay, applied successfully. Now let's switch back to our PlayStation 4 version of the game. Okay, now that we're in the PlayStation 4 version of the game, I've inserted the USB back into the console and I'm ready to overwrite my save. Okay, so it's exciting to see when we access our game, there's our save. You notice the portrait's different. Um, I've also named it from PC, a clear indication that everything worked perfectly. The fact that we can actually load into our save here means that we should, should there shouldn't be any issues with the file. And I'll uh, double check everything just by creating a char character and uh, use sliders that are built into the user profile that I have. So we're going to invade with this slider here, uh, provided by Bifas. Thank you very much. I'm going to go into a catacomb that I'm sure we won't invade in Bifas. It. 
that they're solo when the evasion takes them out. Yeah. Here we are invading caves and catacombs. Well, uh, that concludes everything you should need to know about how to set up one of these saves. Uh, I'm not going to go find this guy because uh, it's actually kind of a pain pain to uh, explore. But hope you enjoyed. hope you found something useful out of this video. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave something in the comments below. If you have any feedback, uh, please check the GitHub link in the description below and uh, put your feedback in the issues section. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks again.